three, two, one. Hey y'all, what y'all got going on? Okay, okay, that's off beat. Your mama is so fat. Your mama is mm, that. Right? So it's back to your mama shit. You know, this shit is so like, it didn't even get me fired up, man. This shit is so stupid. Yeah, I hope you're just trying to get under my skin as you're gonna have to just take a knife and then then just kind of do it that way because this shit it's not working <laughs> yo mama ain't a so-called black woman i don't give a fuck what does that have to do with me i don't have control over how she's and i don't have that mentality that shit don't mean nothing to me and i know you said it out of hate no let's just read it your mama ain't a so-called black woman, then you have no rights here in America. Mixed breeds with a foreign mama equal no rights. Thanks for the info though. Now, how can you be insulting yet try to say thank you? See, your mentality, right? And you wanna call yourself an American Indian. Hmm? So your fight should be against the white people that are taking your identity. But here you are fighting with people that you view as mixed breeds. Now, let's say I am a mixed breed. Let's say my mom's a mixed breed. If she gets her paperwork correct, then she has more rights than you. So who the fuck are you? No one. So why would you sit there and say something negative to try attempt to hurt somebody's feelings? <laughs> you know, he chooses how they come into this world. You, that, that shit is redundant. It's ridiculous. You gonna hurt my feelings with that shit? I'm a grown fucking man. I make mixed breeds. You dumb motherfucker. I love that shit. I'm gonna try to hurt your feelings. I don't have any feelings. I fucking gnaw those things off, spit them off. I just got nerves now. You want to fucking hurt me? Get a fucking hammer. Get a fucking hammer. That shit hurts. Right? Broke toes hurt. Broke fingers hurt. That shit hurts. No, no, no. <laughs> you're, you're, this shit's out of the court. Hey, listen. Everybody that promotes this Israelite shit. Okay? I see all these. If... Uh, they're mixed with this and they're mixed with that. They're not this and they're not that. Mm -mm. He said, do not marry a Canaanite. From, from, from what is it? The Most High to Abraham, from Abraham to Isaac and Jacob. Do not marry a Canaanite. Okay? If that, if it says don't marry a Canaanite, that means on the other end, you can marry whatever the fuck else. So that means if you're worried about marrying a Canaanite, then you have to know who the Canaanites are. You don't say nothing about no white and black or this and that in the Bible. It say somebody become leprous. It say don't deal with those lepers. From the Canaanite style. You don't say don't deal with the Jafet people. So make up whatever you want. I'm trying to show you through scripture, through history, how we're enslaved and that we're enslaved and you want to write shit like this. Fuck you, but thanks for the info. You're a nasty person. You're a nasty motherfucker. Your heart is rotten. I have to tell you this. I, I, that don't affect me. You want to know what's fucked up? I'm glad you said this. Because this brings up the point that I, I always want to hide. But you can't change Mosaic Stone or you fuck it all up. The Mosaic Stone of the Israelites look like me. Okay? Now, Ephraim and Manasseh 
are Joseph's children mixed with Mizraim. They are mixed with Canaanites. Now, if you don't see it, all the little mixed golden children, all salt and pepper throughout, they done made a third race within us, a new race of people. But you're too ignorant, caught up with black and fucking white, caught up with salt and fucking pepper. And you don't see these kids got gold skin, got fucking gold hair or dark curly hair, look like fucking Nick, look like black versions, dark skin versions of, of who's the little curly white girl with the curls and shit. And you don't see this shit going on. This type of mentality is exactly why I won't put my son's image on camera. This type of mentality is why I won't even tell you what my son's name is. My son's name is Badass. Everybody. His name's what? What does that mean? All for it. It's the reaction we get from everybody. You don't deserve it. And your public actions stop everybody else from publicly missing out. But I don't mind. I get to fucking I share it with everybody. If I lose that feeling, all I got to do is tell somebody my son's name is. Uh, and, they, and then they start that ball rolling. Oh, my God. Wait, what? So think what you want. Share your negative thoughts if you want. Any day I want to, I just stop. See, I can't see you. And no matter how dark you are, no matter how fucking pale you are, I've shared this information with all of you. So that you all have a chance at public freedom, freedom from the public to go back into the private, to own yourself and spiritually. See, your comment, it is a spiritual comment. It was very heathenistic. And I want you to think about it. Those people who were sent, they were sent as slaves, their chance for freedom. They came over here and however they did it, however it looked, they enslaved a whole country of different nations. Now you've experienced their slavery. Now you're coming out of their slavery. And this is the mentality that you administer publicly. Why? Because what? You can, you can hide your face. Half-breeds have no rights! Blah, 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 blah. You're, you're ravenous. You're vicious. But thanks for the knowledge. A half-breed taught your dumbass how to free yourself. Because nobody can free you but you. And then what'd you say? If I'm free, half-breeds have no rights where I stick my flag. I mean, that's what you're saying, right? This is why... When I leave and, and do my thing, I need it open to people that are in the same relationships with me because they're going to bring those children that look like my child there. And then this guy with the Indian Joe mentality, oh, look what these people did to us and blah, 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 blah. I'm part of that did to us, whether you accept that or not. Now, look what you've experienced and I've experienced, but now you're willing to do to me. Why would I bring you along to wherever I go when you're planning on setting up the same fucking system? Same ideology. <laughs> See, this is the point. It don't matter. What you say publicly don't matter what you say privately. Our creator already knows how you think. 
everybody that's trying to free you is fucking half breeds. The people that preach their mores, they did this to you. Now they're trying to get you to come out of it as a more, so they have a claim to someone else's loyal title so they can stay in the land. You don't fucking understand. Every time a half breed, see, all these people that I don't have the right to tell you who's in a mixed relationship. I don't have the right to say this person that never showed his face on film is in a is in a is in a kind of relationship. This person that broadcasts out of California is in that type of relationship. I don't have the right to say their names because then you'll go to their channel and then you'll start doing this racist shit against your own people that was oppressed right next to you. That's what you'll do. And it's a shame because again, half these broadcasters that are trying to free you are in the same relationships that you reject. Could they have been themselves with the stereotypical black woman? Who knows? Because society deemed, right? See, that's what you don't respect. See, when when pretty black women come out and say, if they live with their mom, they a scrub. If they drive in mom's car, I've always driven my mom's car. I live with my, I, I moved my wife into my mom's house. By those cunts rules that they put in all the women's minds, I'm a scrub. But that woman from that other nation that you don't respect because she don't look like your, your, your ideal person, she accepted me for who I am. See, that's what you don't respect. See, you don't respect the mentality of our women. And it's not the woman sitting down watching this fucking video that looks like me. I'm talking about the women that are close to me that don't deal with any biblical information, don't deal with no law information, want big muscular thugs that ain't going to be there to raise children, that's going to be in jail. It's going to mouth off and try to shoot other, other men that look like him. That's the type of people that they've been brainwashed to want. So remember, you can't dictate people's relationship. You're not God. Your acceptance of people's relationships doesn't matter unless you're willing to take action, which means you're a threat based on race. You are not accepting of other people's choices in life. Do I see you attacking homosexuals? Do I see you attacking transsexuals? Do I see you attacking men that can that are, that are arguing for the right to dress as women and pee in women's bathrooms? Do I see you attacking women that are arguing for the right to pee in men's bathrooms as they dress like men? Do I see you attacking and making comments to, uh, to transsexuals that are saying it's family program day. Let's reprogram the family to accept unnatural things. Let me tell you something. The Bible shows you Moses, David, David's whole bloodline's mixed. His grandma's from Moab, Bathsheba's a Hittite. He broke the law. Do not go on to a Canaanite. Hittites are Canaanites. You don't know it because you won't study. You just fuck in races. Black people did this to you, you dumb fuck. And you don't understand it. You're not willing to understand it. You These niggas running around calling themselves the kingdom of Kush when in every dictionary and encyclopedia it says that Arabia is the lost kingdom of Kush. You're fucking ignorant because you don't want to read. You've been turned into a dumb barbarian. They sent you to fucking public school and at least taught you how to read, but you don't want to further your education. You just want to watch fucking YouTube videos and express your hate. Well, I'll tell you what. You know how this goes for me. You pick the city, you pick the time, you pick the place, and I will come and have a gentleman's duel with you. I will happily come and whoop your ass and make time for it. This real relevant is beside the point. 
It's your coward. See, every time you see my face and my rotten fucking teeth up here talking, I've never seen your face. I'll never see your face because you're a fucking coward. I love you, and thank you for thanking me for sharing the information. And there's no point in me saying anything negative about you or even threatening you. It's just to say, if you wanted to take it to that level, that's, 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 that's happily. Because your talk is eradication, and you just don't know it. This is my land as much as it's your land. I'll prove my father was here before you prove your father was here because you're fucking lazy. And you'll always hide your face because you, you know once I prove this is my land or anything near that, I would throw you off because of your hate. Like if I had a camp, you wouldn't be accepted because of your hate. How could those people sleep at night with you sitting there thinking hate thoughts about how you don't feel they should exist or exist on this land or exist on that land? They didn't steal anything from you. They were born out of agony. An agony of what? Salt and pepper. Right? Black and white. The struggle between the two. The union between two. And you have the nerve to sit here and tell, well, that's unrighteous. The Bible doesn't say that. The Bible doesn't say anything like that at all. If it is unrighteous, prove the Canaanites. Prove that out of individual relationships, this guy's with a Canaanite or that guy's with a Canaanite. But you don't have anything to say. You're just preaching heat. It's not even hate. It's just heat. <sighs> Hot fucking air. You wither a balloon. So, I want to say a big shout out to King Gotti. Because when this person sat there and said that, he, King Gotti stepped up and he immediately said, man, get the fuck out of here with that bullshit and find something to do with your fucking life. And come over here, right? Someone sacrifices their time, their effort to build and to share this information that, that, that you have to be a disrespectful slave. I have to say, you know, as all, as, although I abridged it, it's, it's very well written how it's written. I just, I just. God, he can, God, he can, God, he can, God. Hey, 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 hey. Best wishes to you. And, you know, I want to highlight, you know, because this is one of those times I didn't re re respond with, F you, man, F your mom, you know, you're, you're, twist your legs, run in front of a bus, any of that stupid shit, you know. It's a lot of hate for someone to, you know, to attempt to say thank you. You think you're the one to confuse. Moses married what? Who did Moses marry? Joseph married who? These things, if you're going to preach this black skin hate, you should at least know these things. See, you think Egyptians are black, and the encyclopedia doesn't say that. Only Afrocentric liars say that. See, the, the people that are fucking Egyptians, they're, they're still to this day. They're still to this day called gypsies. E gypsies. They're fucking wanderers because their the land was fucking destroyed. Now, they present this picture of these pyramids. They never lived in those pyramids. It was a union of cities. Sodom and Gomorrah are African. Okay? Egypt is African. Hittites were Africans. The land of Ham was Africa. You are Afro-Asian. There are Asians. The Asians threw you off your fucking land, took your shit. That's why they have the closest rendition of the fucking, of, of, of the Ten Commandments in Genesis. Lines and pictures. She don't respect that. That's what I said. I'll just type in, see, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't have to sit there and argue with the wind.
What is this? I don't care what you fucking say. Look at how the hair is. Only children from what? White and black relationships make fucking children like this. Yes, this one's whitewash. You can see the gold tone on the cheekbones. But the outer edge is where a beard would go. You already know beard would go there so his chin wouldn't be white and pale like that. That's what they do. All these mosaics, gold skin. 1800 year old mosaic uncovered. Gold skin. Right? When we get into these, man, it's going to show you. Let me find this one that keeps coming up. See how they all look the same? Let me show you this one. All right, fair use, real quick. Here's how did the ancient Israelites, Hebrews, Jews look? Real and true pictorial evidence, right? So at the time when the Greeks, right? Which would have been uh, Persian half-breeds. Go back and read Herodotus. What's the, what's the idea that nobody is chosen by God and all humans are completely equal? And, and rather than sort of like this, oh, you're not of Hebrew ancestry, really. Well, it's more like, well, so what if you are? Because I personally couldn't really care less whether or, whether I was if I was of Hebrew ancestry or Khazar ancestry. I just technically believe that I happen to be of Hebrew ancestry. I don't believe that makes me special. So here are the photos. Uh, take a look for yourself, and you can. All right. So this is a Palestinian Samaritan. Now, everybody that's read the Bible already knows you can't be a Hebrew and a Samaritan. A Samaritan's from a whole fucking different bloodline. So you can see what came out of his mouth was bullshit. All right? That's why we trust what the general son says. These are all fucking Khazars that came from the Ukraine. Gog Magog. Half of them are here with us. All right? Now, why do all these guys have this, oh, I don't know who I am. Oh, I don't know who I am. Oh, I don't know who I am. Somebody sent me this video about this Arab dude, Gog Magog, right? Take your time, Google. Gog Magog, this one right here. The Believer, Yazu and Maju. Now, if you want to watch that, it's going to tell you about it's going to tell you about the Khazars. It's going to tell you about Gog, Magog, and a created being that grew into a tribe, into a peoples. It's going to tell you about all four of those people: Khazar, Gog, Magog, created being. Okay. Now, I, mean, I don't know who I am. I don't know who I am. I created being. I don't know who I am. I don't know who I am. I don't know. I have no history. I don't know. I don't know. I don't test tube. Okay. I I love being overtly theatrical about this shit. You heard that? Who, who am I? Who am I? Who am I? You haven't been enslaved. There's been no separation from your father to the next father to the next father. How can the fuck you not know who the, who you are? Test tube. Remember, they tell you about that big head scientist shit, and shit sounds far fetched. But I got a book over there that talks about five white tribes created in South America sometime in history. Okay? So when Columbus and them came over here, they found those people. It's in this book. B Down gave me this book to look at. It says Panorama of Nations. And when you go to South America, you know ain't no white people in South America, but they show you this white woman from South America. And then it starts talking about the five white tribes, only five tribes. Right? Of South America. Right? Well, 
you know how it is when I'm trying to look for something it don't just pop up all the time so you're gonna have to pass on this one but no it's in this book um he lent me this book to cover it so we're going to cover it um one of these days um but I don't know when because I'm really constrained on time like he could be here see we're in the Arabs right see says the decline of the Mahadians right the Arabs right you see that and then when they show you Arab right that's what they show you see that woman now look at her features because that's a fucking black woman you don't think so I'm gonna show you because this is Ishmael's an Arab warrior. Now there's two types of Arabs. Now you already know if you're Afro Asian, and what you look at and you call Arab today is a form of Asian. Or, or and and when you go to certain images, they say it's a Caucasian. And there is some kind of breed between the Asian and the Caucasian that makes what we call modernly the Arab. So, the Syrians, see this Rio Grande at the Gachos. See, this is one of the pictures they give you for South America. You see South America right below there? All right? And they show you the Mexicans. They ain't going to show you black ass coming from nowhere. All right? Now, even though you got the book over there, America being the latest, greatest uh, description of the New World, in there, Columbus gives his description of you. They look like Ethiopians, and he said it is specifically that way to match Hosea. Israel, I made you liken to the Ethiopians, right? So, when you read Herodotus, they already know. From Herodotus, black people left Asia, overthrew Ethiopia, and then they call themselves Ethiopians. The Bible acknowledges that. I just cannot find where the overthrow is and who the people that got kicked out are called today. See, this is the type of stuff I'm looking for in the Bible. See, they got, I'm looking through the Americas. I don't see it right here. Eskimos. There we go. And I know you think this is off. But it's all connected. So that's the Arctic. It's all connected. See, so, yeah. this is Australia. And when they're talking about Australia, they're, to they're showing the, the crocodile done the Australians, right? They're showing those niggas, right? But, you know, they're talking about the Assyrians. All right. Meaning the Assyrians did something. And that's why they're there. See, these are these are Tasmanians, right? The Tasmanian devil, right? Now remember, this is different forms of black people everywhere until some point in history. I know here's the Polynesians, right? They look like the one from the fucking good time, man. That's a man, I think, I don't know. Look like a man's chest. Look like a woman's face on a man's chest. Going around this Javanese, Javanese, they show you what. See that underneath the picture? Javanese loom. See, it's a black man, right? So, even Jafet, right? In the, in the, in the, in the, the islands of Javan, the children of Javan, right? Even Jafet started black. Madagascar, 
brown people. They've like got straight hair. You know, this it goes through a lot of but you know, my point was showing you the white person when they when they did South America, they showed you the white crowd. It's fucking hilarious at first. You know. Send shockwaves to you. Cause you know there weren't white people there from what they've taught us. But again, if there was five tribes, but specifically only five, like what happened and why? But at this point, it's about too much time into that. All right. So if you go into this video right here, it's going to talk about Gog, make Gog. It's going to lead back to this, these guys, right? Palestinian and Samaritans, right? You're getting further, right? This is going to get good, right? See, all these are different types of Palestinian Samaritans, right? Take that Hebrew shit out. Hebrew is a bloodline, meaning you are from the forefather of what? Eber. Eber. Right? Now, you know those people are not Afro anything, so they're not from Eber. Now, you see, these just are like just white people here in America, right? But these are a specific breed. These are the Ukrainians. Now, you already know the Palestinians are darker skin, and these light-skinned people kill the dark-skinned Palestinians. All right? So when you think about what YouTube authors are trying to tell you, you know, you have to make sure you've got a firm grasp on worldview and whose image goes where to what name again palestine hebrews and samaritans are three different fucking races from the bible now these liars are trying to just say oh we're all those oh we are combined of those no well, no there's nothing in here that says you're anywhere near you know afro this or afro that or nothing that shows that you had any Afro ethnicity that went through your bloodline. You're doing you know, fraud, proxy. Okay, just like this guy. Oh, I don't know who I am. Oh, 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 oh. right. You see, people look like this all the time in the states. The same people right here with us. Doesn't matter if they publicly say they're Jew or privately say they're Jew. You know it's Revelation 2.9, Revelation 3.9. So don't be fooled by any of this. How can one group be Hebrews and the other group be Jews? Now, do you see the mosaic? Now, don't that look like the children that, 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 that come from these mixed relationships? Some of them have darker hair, some of them have a little bit lighter hair. If you understand what I'm saying, Hebrew, put a one down. I'm just playing. I respect that. I respect when people do that shit. That's cool. I like that shit. Right? Now, what do they say? Ancient Judean mosaics of what? Kahanim and Hebrews, right? So now, ain't no, what's, what's the difference between these? These look dramatic, don't they? And, and this. That's completely different. It looks like a whole different fucking race of people. When you try to show me this image versus this image. Now, do you see that? That's really important right there. Want to know why? Look how his hair is. His hair is in a circle, right? It's in a circle. Now, isn't that interesting? A little cotton ball on top of his head. Hmm? You see them all got little cotton balls? Do 
Yeah, I don't give a shit about that shit. Now, what did you say? Canaanite madmen's, right? Why? Why would those white people with those noses be Canaanites? Huh? Now, are they? Now, we already know the Asians are Canaanites. But these guys try to pull some shit out, right? Are they being honest? Or this guy, this author, this video author, doesn't seem to know too much. He's had no interruption in his family, and he don't even know who he is. But yet, he's going to give you a bunch of different fucking shit and say they're all fucking this and that. I don't know what else is in this video, right? So I want you to think about this shit. Right? This one's a hard one. This one's always going to be hard. We don't know which group is being highlighted. We don't know if they're highlighting interbred children. We don't know if interbred children became these prophets. But we all want to imagine that Isaiah looks like the individual thinking. We all want to imagine Moses looks like us. No matter what Moses looked like, he went into a woman that is not an Israelite and built his family. That's your fucking leader. No matter what David looked like, he went into a Hittite. That's your king. No matter what David looked like, he was produced from Moabite stock, his grandmother. Now we know what Moab looks like. So we would assume that because David's grandma was dark, because we know what Moab looks like, that David would be darker than this. But if you read the three books, the Bible, the book of Jubilees, and the book of the upright, the book of Yasher, the book of Jasher, it'll tell you three descriptions of David. It'll say he had brothers and they were more handsome. And when Samuel was sent to David, he was like, why him? He's not even dark like the rest of us. Have a good day.